turning to shoulder. The measurement is 284. I did find out that the drill bit did not drill the hole in these valve heads the same. There'd be a thousandth or so difference in the uh, drill bit uh, runout, I'm going to say, to get a press fit. So the drill bit that I found that fit in this one with a pretty decent, it's about a thousandth shy. Going by that, I need to, the inside hole there is 256,000. So that means I've got to take 28 thousandths off of that. Let's get it done. size piece off there okay it's going to be oversized now which is what I you don't want it to be undersized uh, to see if we got a uh, spring out the measurement is 270 close to the chuck and out here on the end it's 270 and something I'm gonna say it's 270 I'm gonna say it's pretty close Going by that measurement, uh, do the math on it. Let's just do the math on it. The 256 is the number, and we got 270, which means we took off 14 thousandths. Oh, I need to take off another 14 thousandths. That's pretty decent math. just on the trial or uh, let's just see I, I, I would just uh, it's 260 actually we've got a four thousandths doing the math on it there we got a four thousandths between the 256 and the 260 and that will just barely start up on there so you know, I think uh, I think I'm going to stop right there, and uh, for a press fit. And the measurement, the uh, the length. Uh, if you put this one on here, this is uh, well, just one I turned for uh, measuring. And if you put it in there like that, then the part that sticks out is just about correct. And if you put it up there and line it up there, it's just right. So we good to go there. Let's get over there on the workbench and assemble them up.
just rounding over the corner there on that. That's the last one. Press that press that valve head onto that stem right there. It's just an interference fit. The um, uh, the shoulder worked out good. I'll heat that the center of that valve there, a cherry red, uh, and then I will peen. I'll mushroom that out to secure it to the uh, stem. And then we'll chuck this up in the uh, valve facer, the valve grinder, and 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 really, really, really put that factory finish on yonder. Now let's get on to that now. The show goes on. The valve project up to where we are now, if you remember, it started with just a crude blueprint. Yes, you do have to have a blueprint. In this case, it's a red print, but it got the job done. Let's get on with the show. The matter of valve stem to valve guide clearance. These, this right here, that's a cast iron valve guide. You drill out the hole, press this in there, and most of the time you have to ream this to size. It's a valve guide. The valves that uh, we just made up to this point, I uh, will show you the stem. If uh, if if you can. Well, you can't see it because there is none. If you put this valve stem in this guide, now when you press this into the head, it will actually shrink it. Uh, I will have to run a reamer through here to uh, restore the size. And it's an interference fit. Uh, it's supposed to do that. The uh, guide st the stem... Well, well, it works like that right there. That's the way that works. And it's supposed to be a, a non-interference fit. No, no, no friction whatsoever the, um, on any of them. And it's supposed to be just, it, it's, uh, it's not loose. I really don't know how to describe the fit of that. But but when you put that stem in there, a new one that's not been used, and a new guide, and you back and forth, there is no play, but it's not tight. The uh, It will be tight, and I'll have to ream it. I know I said that three times, but it's it has to be done. 